Hey everybody, welcome to Full Shore Friday Fun Day. As you can see, Nikki, who is really the sidekick, she's out today, so I'm on my own. Um, but we're still gonna talk about some, some great things. So um, if you don't know, September is National Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. And so I want to share some statistics with you from the National Alliance of Mental Illness. And then I wanna talk about five things you can do during the month of September for Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. So a couple of statistics, 47,000 people a year in the United States die of suicide and 800,000 people worldwide or a die a year from suicide. So it's the second leading cause of death for um, people ages 10 through 34. And for people aged 35 through 54, it's the fourth leading cause of death. So those are some pretty um, astounding statistics. So here are the five things you can do to help. Number one, half of all of the people who um, die of suicide are diagnosed with a mental illness but 90% are shown to have had symptoms. So the one thing that you can do is to know the symptoms of mental illness, especially depression, anxiety, and personality disorders. The second thing you can do is, is recognize that someone you know might be suffering right now. So make time in your life, just take 10 or 15 minutes for a real human interaction with somebody you know. The third thing that you can do is, is when someone is complaining or telling you of some of the problems that they're having and um, they're really struggling, don't be a cheerleader for that person. Instead, just keep asking questions and just keep being there with them and let them know that you hear them at the depths of your soul so that they know that what they feel and experience is important and it matters. We don't need to talk people out of problems. Sometimes they just need someone to listen to them. The fourth thing you need to do or that you can do for National Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month is, is if you are worried that someone you know is suicidal, talk to them and ask them. Ask them if they have intention. Ask them if they just have thoughts of suicide. Ask them if they have a plan. If they do, then help them get help. It's okay to ask those questions. It's already going on in their mind. Just help them. You could be the cause of saving somebody's life by doing that. The last thing that you can do, the fifth thing, is take care of your own mental health. If that's walking or exercising or talking to someone else about any problems that you might have, take a break, take a vacation if you can, notice the good things that you have in your life, or even um, seek therapy if you have any of the signs of mental illness. Let somebody help you. So if we all pull together, we can do this. We have a goal of reducing the amount of suicide in this world, and we want to do our part, and you can help by doing any of those five things. So go out. We have a little bit of time left in the month of September for National Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month, and go make a difference in somebody's life.